here today with my FabFit Fun Box for the spring. My name's Spawn and this is my channel and it's a happy place even when I'm not particularly happy. Coming here makes me happy. So if you like hauls and unboxings, reviews, chat, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. <sighs> so as some of you will know, I'm supposed to be wallpapering at the moment, but the day before yesterday, I hurt my hip. No idea how I did it, but it's been giving me real jip and I thought it won't be a problem. I'll wait a few days and it'll get better. Yesterday, I had to go out with the other half to sign some wills and power of attorneys and things like that. And we got lost. Well, I don't know if lost is the right word, but we parked the car. We went to where my husband said the office was. We were at the wrong office. And we walked and we walked and we walked. By the end, I have to say, I was on my knees with the pain in my leg. So, well, hip going down my leg. So I'm not able to do any of the things I had planned. And the upstairs of my house looks like a bomb has hit it. Because I've pulled everything out of that room, well as much as I can, to enable me to wallpaper. So there's bags and boxes and God knows what else. Please burp it down. All over the place up there. And every time I go up there, I just want to scream, frankly. And then my FabFitFun box came. So I thought, you know what? Could there be a better day for a shot in the arm of joy than a day like today? So here we go. So it's come in this great big box. <laughs> and presumably inside is the nicer one. Although I know they're not doing quite so shishi boxes anymore, someone told me. But we'll see. Right, paper. Bubbly stuff. Oh, my add-ons. My add-ons are in here my receipt and here's the actual box oh, oh, oh. <laughs> here is the actual FabFitFun box for spring so I'll show you my add-ons at the end oh I got a lot more add-ons than I thought I had I get carried away in that add-on bit you know and let's open up the actual FabFitFun box so you open it up and it looks like this more wrapping paper a whole load of leaflets which usually are of absolutely no use to us because they're normally geared to the American market because this is an American box um, so I won't bother reading them out because you know there's not a lot of point but one of them is HelloFresh which makes me smile they're everywhere aren't they HelloFresh um, then we have a sheet of stickers cute aren't they spring 2021 all that sort of thing on them I could put those on some letters and envelopes couldn't i and then there's a grow forth which is um it's a code for if anybody else doesn't get the fab fit fun box and wants to and uses a link they'll get 15 dollars off um yeah i'll put it in the bottom if i remember but i mean 15 dollars isn't much and i'm pretty sure there are some amazing deals that you can find if you haven't got a code but i will put it there and then there's the magazine the magazine to be fair is really good um it's gone over to paper it used to be really shiny but i think it's all to do with sort of being recyclable or something and, and more eco but now i've got to try and remember what i chose in each category Ooh. normally it has some woman on the front some star of some description and i never know who they are this one's quite nice because it's just very pretty flowers so I'm going to need my glasses. So in category one, I chose the umbrella. There we go. <laughs> I had to think about that for the longest time. I chose the umbrella. I mean, we live in the UK, so why not? And I thought this looked really pretty. It will probably be a gift. Because um, I'm pretty bad at forgetting and losing these types of things. But it's so pretty. It's by Shoshana. They reckon it was worth $40. I don't know if you pay $40 for an umbrella in America, but maybe you do. Uh, oh! It's one of those with the buttons, so you shoot it. And then, now my mum would go mad, and my nana, because she'd say you should never open an umbrella indoors. But isn't that pretty? It's got a frill round the edge. It's got a lovely shape. I know that sounds silly, but it has. It's got a lovely shape. I'm really pleased with that. If, I can figure out how to put it down. 
<laughs> that was a heck of a challenge to put it down. I'm sure I'm not doing it right. I need to spend some time looking at it. But isn't that pretty? And as I said, make a great gift. Um, Oh, I may go, I'll keep it myself. Oh, I'm so selfish. I keep so many things. But I did like it the minute I saw it. So, yeah, that was my section one pick, which was the Shoshana umbrella. Yes, now I remember this. Section two. What I wanted to pick was they had two MAC lipsticks together. But funny enough, now I've seen them on here, I'm actually quite glad that I didn't manage to get them. Um, Powder Kiss Lipstick Duo Matte. The colours are not really me, now I see it. So I'm quite pleased. So what I chose in the end was the slippers. I don't wear slippers, guys. But as he has eaten my, uh, as Bert has eaten my Birkenstocks, I have to think about that then. I'm having one of those days. I thought it might be a good thing to try. So the pink, the fluffy. They've got that sort of crisscross. They are so soft, actually. Really, really soft. They're pink, but they're pink with like a peachy tint to it. I mean, they're not me. I don't wear slippers. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if I'll wear them or, again, whether I'll gift them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're lovely, but I'm just... I'm not sure that they're me. I'm a barefoot girl most of the time and Birkenstocks are about where I sit. So, but I have lots of family members who are slipper mad. So again, I can put them away. They'd be a great gift. So I'll think on that one. Category three, you know me, you won't be surprised. I chose the Verso Super Eye Serum. I'm still obsessed with these bags under my eyes. It's got Retinol 8 Super Serum for the eyes. I don't know whether it's very good. I don't know whether it's rubbish but i am willing to try anything to try and improve these and i've never tried verso so when i saw it i thought yeah you may as well there weren't very many other things in category three that i was that wild about but my constant quest for better under eyes meant this was a good pick for me in category four i chose the ahava refreshing cleansing gel I am a total convert to Ahava. I have lots of Ahava products now, face creams and, and body creams and so and I have been so, so impressed. But I've never tried any of their cleansers, so um, I thought this would be good. I'll bet you it's foaming. I wonder if it says, and of course, the powers that be say you shouldn't use foaming gels, but uh, it's a soapless gel, so why wouldn't it be good for me? Um, I'm really pleased to have that. Really, really pleased to have that. Category five, I chose this really fun looking um, dip dye market tote, they call it. I call it a string bag. But look how cute that is. I love the dip dye on it. Now, I wouldn't use it for going to the market. You know where I'd use this? I'd use this for going to the beach. This is the sort of thing that I would throw a little towel in, um, a book maybe, some sun creams. What I love about these, of course, you can put them through the wash because they're just, they're made as a cotton. But that's really pretty colours, I think. So I'm really pleased with that one. That was, yeah, I mean, there were a few other choices that were maybes. But in the end, I went for what my heart was saying I needed. And, oh, we all need, don't we? <laughs> No, we don't. Nobody needs a string bag, but I wanted it. <laughs> now we get on to the things that I didn't pick. So these are the things that FabFitFun thought I needed. So in the first category, I have got Earth Harbour. It's called Marina Biome Brightening Ampule. This oil features spirulina and blue tansy to vigorously brighten and balance the skin. I like face oils. Um, I've quite got into them just recently. Uh, what does it say? It's named for the treasured ocean blue botanicals. Um, harbours concentrated adaptogenic oils that brighten and balance for an even and radiant complexion. Two or more drops to your skin after cleansing and toning. Well, it's got all the good things on the side. Can you see? plant-based no gmos it's rabbit it's got the little rabbit on it it's fair trade it's woman owned i like that that it's woman owned yeah i'm happy with 
that considering that's a pick and I had no choice over. <laughs> Category seven is lip masks. I just think these things are the funniest things I've ever heard. I've never tried one, so I shouldn't judge, I know. But sun's out, pounce out, infused with kika, sika, and honeysuckle flower extract. There are four in here and they're gold foil lip masks i won't be able to use one on mask monday so we'll be able to talk although that might be quite pleasant for you 15 minutes of me sitting there with all masks on and a lip one just going <laughs> um yeah i just think these are the, the maddest things in the world i'm certainly gonna give it a go but i do think they're pretty mad uh what's the value they say on those um 16 pounds for all of those hmm <laughs> i think no it won't be pounds, but it'll be dollars. But even so, I still think that's a bit odd. And last but not least of the picks that I know nothing about is this one, which is S-A-I-E is the company name. So say, would it be? Say, say, I don't know. Reusable beauty rounds. Goodness me, I've had some beauty rounds lately. This will make nine or ten now. This one's quite look quite nice. Um, I'm going to open them up. Mm. They say they're worth $15. So there's three in there. Oh, they're very... Um, can you see how thick they are? Very, very fluffy. I actually like those. Yep, those are nice. Those will go in my bathroom. And yeah, and I'll give them a whirl. So there we go. That's the things that I got from FabFitFun. Um, nothing really blowing my mind. But I was quite happy. I'll, go, I'll put them back in the box, shout out the prices, and you can see if you can work it out. So the rounds at $15. The Earth Harbour and Puel at $38. The, oh, the lip masks at $16. The string bag at $25. Let me see what else. Oh, the Ahava Cleansing Facial Gel at $24. The Funky Slippers at $48. I wouldn't pay $48. You could pay about £10 for these in Tesco's or Sainsbury's. But anyway, $48. The Gorgeous Umbrella, I must say, that is a really, really nice umbrella at $40. Again, seems quite a lot. I'm missing something, aren't I? What have I not put back in the box? Oh, I know. The Verso Eye Serum. Um, goodness me, $65. So as you can see, it's a lot of value for money, but I would always take their um, estimates of value with a tiny pinch of salt. Now I'll show you my add-ons. So first up, because everyone was making such a fuss about them, I finally managed to get my hands on one of these marshmallow blanket rows. It's in a soft grey. I want to see what it feels like. I mean, people have been raving about them. Um, oh, it is lovely and soft. Oh, I will. <laughs> oh, I will admit that as a faux fur, that is a gorgeous faux fur. That is an absolutely gorgeous faux fur. I've actually got it to go on my chair in my lounge. Um, I like the room really cold because, as you know, I run hot but every so often my legs my feet will get a little bit chilly so um that's for me and I am really pleased actually because that is super 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 soft so yummy I got a marshmallow I also picked up the bucket sun hat which was one of the choices um and I didn't choose it. I chose something else I can't think why but I could get this as an extra as an add-on for when I'm gardening. I thought this was, I haven't got the right, I've got my hair up in a bob, but look at that, isn't that fun? I wouldn't go out um, in the streets in it. But for gardening, how fabulous. It's a lovely fit actually, that was a really nice, considering I've got my hair in a bob, that went in really well. It's black with little daisies on it. I couldn't resist. I do quite a bit of gardening in this summer and I'm terrible for getting a red nose. So I always have to wear something that will give me a little bit of shade. So I'm pleased with that. Um, somebody told me it was reversible. I'm not convinced. Let me see if it says in the book actually, because it was an option even though I didn't choose it. Uh, yes, it is reversible. So you can wear it 
on the white side with the pattern inside. Let's see what that looks like, shall we? Now that's quite cute. <laughs> I quite like it, the white side with the... Now that side I probably would wear out. <laughs> so I'm happy. What else did I get? Oh, I picked up a few more sponge gels. I'm discovering that I love them and I can't get them over here. So I picked up sponge gel with sea lavender. That has 14 plus uses. uses. Oh, that's lovely actually, sea lavender. Didn't know what it would smell like. I'm very, I love lavender, but I'm wary of it because quite often it's so wrong. Oh yeah, that smells lovely. So I got a sponge gel with sea lavender and I got a sponge gel in Bulgarian rose. I love rose as well. So let's have a oh lovely so the shape of pretty flower yes so i've got a couple of those keep me going until the next box and then i'll do some more on add-ons um i picked up a tan Lux the gradual now you know i'm using um Parad isle of paradise the drop um not the drops the spray the water spray but this is supposed to be very good and it says I'm a sucker for what they put on these sides, so it's probably rubbish, and I just, you know. A unique oil and lotion hybrid to smooth and condition the skin while delivering a supernatural glow. Colour develops in one to two hours, leaving the ultimate undetectable tan. No streaks, no smells, no drama. Vegan friendly and cruelty free. Yes, that's what I remember about this. It's got oil in it, which I thought would be really kind to the skin. Um, oh, it's got a cap on it. And I don't really want to start it because I'm using the Oil of Paradise one. But I will report back on that as to whether it's any good. Um, but I thought once the summer is here, and I've had a day in the sun, smoothing some of this on after a shower or a bath will help even out because I can get quite patchy, you know, burn in some areas, not so much in others. Well, not burn, but you know what I mean, catch in some areas and not so much in others. So I thought I'd give it a whirl because it was on a very good price. I also picked up Pericone MD Essential FX Acyl Glutathion <laughs> Rejuvenating Moisturiser. Let's see if you can say it any better than I can. Um, again, I've heard a lot about Pericone. Um, some people swear by it. A nutrient-packed moisturiser with a rich velvety texture that deeply moisturises yet absorbs quickly without any residual grease or stickiness. So, um, I just couldn't resist trying it, really. Um, I'm going through my moisturisers quite quickly at the moment because I've got very dry skin at the minute. So, I was, I was quite happy to get another one. Now you know, because I use different moisture, this is what I wanted to say, I use different moisturisers at different times, uh, depends on how my skin feels that day, depends on what I've been doing, whether I'm going to put makeup on or not put makeup on, so I don't have just one on the go. Um, and as a lot of you know, I've been looking for another gel moisturiser, because I love my uh, squeezy green water gel cream something it's called this one is by good habit it's called rescue me water jelly dew cream <laughs> water jelly dew cream. anything very watery i'm in love with at the moment this also has blue light protection so i suppose if i spent a lot of time in front of a computer that could be good um, it says thirsty skin has met its match. The lightweight formula hydrates as well as the richest moisturizers, but like your go-to filter is practically undetectable. Now that I love the idea of. I have some other moisturizers that I really like, but they tend to sit a bit on the skin. And you know, a good hour later, I can sort of still feel like a, I don't know what you'd call it, maybe like a film on the skin. I like the ones that sink in and you put your hand to your face and you think, oh, you know, completely dry. Don't, can't feel anything. So I'm hoping that this could be my new find. And then last but not least, what can I say? I'm a stationery addict. They were doing this pack of stationery. And it's all about bullet journaling, which I do anyway. I'm going to see what was in it because I, I picked it up really quickly and I didn't really, you know, look in great detail at it stationery and me you see there's a little bit of a thing that goes on there so it came with some stickers they're just colored that you can write on it has an undated planner in it which i think is quite nice you know i have lots of planners 
I won't start this one until another one is finished. Um, but that's really nice. That one, this one's got some daily habits and things. So it could be quite a good self-care planner, this one. Um, just in this very neutral sort of uh, navy blue. And then finally it has a notebook. Which again, I just liked the colours. This is just lined. It has the days of the week at the top. Look, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So you can date it should you wish to. Um, it was such a bargain price. I'm, I, you're going to say how much was it? And I can't remember. It was something like $15, I think. Um, you know I love my stationery, guys. So I just couldn't resist. I wanted to try some and see what it was like. So that's the last thing that I got. So there we go. I'm a lucky girl, aren't I? That is so many things. But, yeah, all of them. What I love about it is sometimes in a category or the bits where I don't get to choose, something will come that I just know I won't use. But it doesn't matter. The value of the box is so good that I will give the things away. I mean, this box, I will check... Um, and I'll put it in the bottom, but without my add-ons now, <laughs> ignoring the add-ons, add it's about £45, I believe, this box, which I think is just brilliant. If you think about it, an umbrella and slippers and face creams and lip masks, I think it's great. Some seasons, there are more things you like than other seasons, but yeah, I love it. I've now finished, I think, my first full year I think it was summer of last year I got my first one I'm not sure yeah I think it was so I've now had a full year I've had a summer a winter yes yeah, summer and autumn a winter and a spring I was struggling there and I can say it's not disappointing me the only time I ever got cross was over the bags that time but I love everything that's in here. It is just the best treats and pick-me-up. So if you do have a little bit of spare cash, I mean, I know at the moment it's tough, but if you do, I would recommend it. I do think it's great. It's that four times a year, you get something that's for you and you alone. You know me though. I mean, it's more like four times a month. <laughs> anyway, that was me. That was Fab Fit Fun. I hope you're all doing better than I am. Oh, I'll let this hip get better so I can get on and get that room finished. Oh, there's stuff all over the table I haven't shown you yet that is there for tricking it out. Everything's pulled out of the room, bar the furniture, of course. I just, oh, I come out of the lounge. I get halfway up the stairs to where I can just see the landing and I just want to die. There's stuff everywhere that belongs in that room. So roll on the hip, getting better. Anyway, I hope you're well. I hope you're happy. Mm, I hope you're not limping. <laughs> and I'll see you again really soon, guys. Bye.